he started coming to me every night. He used to take me somewhere. He used to show me galaxy. Then he told, he came to kill you. I protected you. Aao, mera beti. Tumara inzadaan mein mera jeevan beet gaya. Itna badi bevakuf aurat ko hum jindagi mein pahila baar reka hai. Welcome Mrs. Jaya Natarajan to the studios of Shri Satisai Media Center. You have had decades of experience with Bhagwan. He has cured you. He has safeguarded you. And you have experienced his love in a million ways. Please tell us how Swami entered your life. First, let me thank Bhagwan for having given me this opportunity to talk about his Mahima and his uh, his encounter, my encounter with that Supreme Lord Almighty. I think we are very fortunate to have the Supreme Lord with us. I think only Bhagavan has uh, picked us up. We didn't come, I think. It's out of his bounty and love. I feel uh, he was feeling bad for the soul that has been moving around the world since he created the universe. Out of pity, he collected all the souls to whom he wanted to merge with him. So, some uh, I read somewhere, the Lord's agony. We human beings, we won't come on our own accord to Bhagavan, to Swami. So, he gave small, small troubles. The troubles multiplied. So, they used to go to some temple here, there, and astrologer everywhere. Nothing would happen. Then somebody used to tell them, why don't you try Puttaparthi? Where is Puttaparthi? That's how Bhagavan's Leela starts. Then they will come to Puttaparthi. As usual, Swami's uh, Leela, he will ignore them as though he doesn't know everything, everything. And then he will call them. Just like a second, the person becomes all right. And his faith grows. His love grows. He embraces them. That's my feeling. Because he wants to upbring the souls to merge with him. That is why he has collected all the souls who have come to him. Tell us your story. My story, yeah. Uh, the childhood I knew, the name was only Shirdi Sai. That is through one Mr. Narasimha Swamiji who propagated about him in South India. So he gave us a big photograph, the Dwaraka Mai post sitting. And then I had a fancy for that photo. As I was hardly five years, six years. So, uh, he used to say, offer something to God, everything. So, I used to buy one peppermint that is uh, badam coated with sugar. It used to be very big. In those days, you used to get one in Spencer and Company. Nowadays, we don't get in India. In Middle East, it's available, the small. I used to bring that, <laughs> offer it to Baba. Baba, please take it, Baba. I never gave a chance for him to eat it. I knew immediately. That was my childhood bhakti. It went on and on and on and on. And then he started coming to me every night. He used to take me somewhere. He used to show me galaxy. I didn't know what a galaxy. Uh, every day he used to come. And then uh, he used to bring me back. Every morning I used to tell my mother, Amma, uh, the Baba, he took me somewhere very far and I saw him lot of colorful balloons. Yeah. My mother thought I am dreaming. It went on. Then my sisters, I was the youngest, they used to tease me, ah, he, Baba comes and takes it every day. I'll just, she's bluffing. Then one day Baba came, I said, Baba, they are all teasing me. No, no, I will take you, don't tell anybody about this, okay? You are my beloved child. Wow. He sang a song. Mm. Shall I sing it? Yes. Aindu vayadinile ariyaparuvatile Aindu vayadinile ariyaparuvatile Yen mune vandhi ninraan Yen apan yen nayan Yen mune vandhi ninraan Yen apan yen nayan Yara pani yen reen Sulhiren va yen raan, yarapani yen reen. Sulhiren va yen raan. Vanatin meedhe, vanna vanna kolangal. Peroli vishum, taraganangal. Vanatin meedhe, 
வண்ண வண்ண கோளங்கள் பேரொளி வீசும் தாராகணங்கள் அறியுமா நீ என்றான் யாரப்பா நீ என்றேன் அறியுமா நீ என்றான் யாரப்பா நீ என்றேன் தேடி வந்தேன் உன்னை உன் தந்தை நானே காண வந்தேன் உன்னை ஷீரடி வாசி கண்டு கொண்டேன் உன்னை என் மகளே கண்டெடுத்தேன் உன்னை என் மகளே கண்டு கொண்டேன் உன்னை என் மகளே கண்டெடுத்தேன் உன்னை என் மகளே யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த மீனிங் யூ ஷுட் டெல் த மீனிங் வாட் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் திங் ஹி கால் மீ ஐ மிஸ் சைல்ட் சுவாமி ஹஸ் டோல் மீ த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் யூ ஆர் மை ஓன் யூ ஆர் மை ஓன் <laughs> wow beautiful you know absolutely yeah then it went on and on on and on i studied went everywhere everything went on i was married till then everything totally you forget everything life changes so you used to worship baba no after so when with the photograph no worship and all because in the house that uh, habit was not there no i am a worshiper with the, every minute i will be worshiping <laughs> that that was not there in the family itself you're all you know so baba came to you only in your childhood she and desai she desai came to you only in your childhood but i used to always say that is baba is there then one uh, the same time one very great saint from tiruvannamalai he came our neighbor was a devotee of ramana maharishi he came to our house my father said make uh, namaskaram all the girls did i didn't do i just looked at him. three times my father very egoistic do namaskara i didn't do then he said doctor don't tell anything to this child this is the child who will see god face to face in your family she will talk to god don't say anything to this child i was very much elated i will tell mrs sah hey, only god will talk to me i will be with god you are all nothing I'm very egoistic. You don't even make one namaskar to such a great person. But he told, you know, that I will see God. That childhood argument, everything, it went on and on. So at that time also everything went. Then my husband was working in a coal field in Madhya Pradesh, a place called Kurba. He was a chief engineer there, looking after the heavy earth-moving machinery was in his charge. Okay. Then that time... Uh, I met this Baba Ji, Tapasvi Baba. I was all right, nothing was wrong. And then there was one bank manager and my driver used to say, Madam, you have to be a very big Sant Purusha. You have to be a darshan. I didn't even know what Sant Purusha and all. And there is a very big saint here you should uh, yeah. worship. I him. was, uh, you know, uh, secretary in the Central Government Officers Club. I used to talk in Russian. My life was entirely different. every day even every once a week arrange veg and non veg everything and uh, arrange all the these things in the club i had a so- small school also i was running so my s- social life that way not that much god word but i used to light deepa and all pray that's all and then he said uh, uh, then once we went i didn't go there was a very big burglary in our house that time uh, my driver took me there but he didn't come out then he said mem sahab ye to vibhag nahi aaya jo chori hua wo to nahi milne wala hai okay came away that went uh, went away after one not so whatever years. you lost you're not going to get huh? yeah yeah that's why he has not come out that's what my driver told me okay we came away it's a big uh, burglary done by my domestic servant then he told he came to kill you i protected you Tapasvi Maharaj said, uh, Swami told him. I had a small argument with him. He, he came from Bihar to Madhya Pradesh with this. And then uh, my husband gave him a job. I, I got him married. I used to everything. Then something he was, one day he argued. I said, don't argue with me. That's all. I didn't say anything. Another few who was working with my husband, he came and told me, Mem Sahib, Sahib to itna bisi rehte hain. Hum ek to puja karenge aapka gar mein. He kept on paper and on paper. and that's all he said ek hafta ke baad fir aaunga 
ये मेरा घर में भी ये करेंगे साहब को कौन दुश्मन हो सकता है यू एस ए वेरी जेंटल वेरी वेरी ऑनेस्ट वेरी नाइस पर्सन माई हजबैंड सो ऑल ऑफ दम लाइक हिम सो मच आफ्टर वन वीक ही केम ही टुक आउट इन आर एन जे दिस थिंग हनुमान जी हेड रिटर्न ही सेट लेट हेर नॉट पनिश हिम लेट हेर नॉट गो बिहाइंड हिम आई विल पनिश हिम शी विल गेट मोर वॉट शी लास्ट ही सर मेम साहब जी ऐसा तो लिखा है वो लिखा ये ये किया है दैट पर्सन हु केम फ्रॉम बिहार ही हैड डन इट ओके देन आई थॉट आई शुड नॉट अलो हिम टू एंटर द हाउस यू नो सो वेन माई हजबेंड केम फ्रॉम कैलकाटा आई टोन लुक यूर प्यून हनुमान जी हैज रिटर्न सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट हिम इन द हाउस एज अ डोमेस्टिक हेल्प प्लीज पुट हिम समेर देन ऑल द पीपल इवन एवरी बडी सर सर इसको घर पर नहीं रखना आपको इसको निकाल दीजिए डिसमिस कीजिए ही सर आई वन नॉट डिसमिस हिम उनका पेट खाली नहीं करेगा हम ही उसको नौकरी दिया है ऐसे दम ट्रांसफर हिम समेर देन ही पुट हिम दैट कदा अंडरग्राउंड ही उस बी ऑन द ओपन कास्ट ही पुट हिम ऑन अंडरग्राउंड देन ही सेड हम उसको पनिश करेंगे तुम पीछे नहीं जाएगा ओके सर चलो देन एट तुम घर का अंदर नहीं आना बाहर जो साहब काम देते हो वही काम कर लो ठीक है ही मैंने भी स्लोली ही लास्ट ही सही सही एन ही गेव यू माई जॉब टू इज वाइफ इन द स्कूल ऐसा ना आया देन नेक्स्ट ईयर आफ्टरवर्ड्स माई हजबेंड हैव टू कम टू बैंगलोर सो फ्रॉम चंपा द फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर्स हैव टू कम इन थिक डार्क जंगल So he said, uh, "Train is at five thirty. Will you come back only with the driver? You should have somebody with you." Then I called Mr. Murthy, C N Murthy, manager of Sri Bank of India. I told Mr. Murthy, "Mr. Natarajan is going to Bangalore. I have to come alone." No, no, no. I will come with you. Don't worry. We picked him up. Then uh, he, uh, we saw him off. Then he said, "Abhi kya karenge? Club pe jana bola nahi. Joint secretary will take care." I have told him today, "Ah, uh, we will be here." He said, "Okay, with the lab, uh, mandir me jaake baitenge." वी सैट यही ये बाबा जी रहता है ही टोल वी अच्छा दैट टाइम ऑल्सो आई डी नो वी आर सिटिंग इन दैट तालाब देन वन फेलो केम आफ्टर सम टाइम एंड देर लॉट ऑफ क्राउड देन आज टीम यार इतना भीड़ क्या है क्या बात है इधर देन जैसे मेला था तीन दिन का मेला के बाद तीन दिन से हम लोग यहाँ रुक रहे हैं जो बाबा जी का दर्शन करने के लिए वो गुफा से बाहर नहीं आया तो आज जा रहे हैं हम लोग बहुत दूर जाना है जा रहे हैं ठीक है देन से लुक ही विल नॉट कम आउट अनलेस ही वॉन्ट्स टू ब्लेस पीपल इज वेरी 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 ओल्ड ही यूज टू बिकम लाइक अ लैन टू प्रोटेक्ट दैट विलेज लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इज अ वेरी ग्रेट सिद्ध देन आफ्टर टेन मिनट्स वन फेलो के ए लड़की आई वॉज वेरी यंग है नो तुमको महाराज बुला रहा है आई थॉट महाराज मीन द प्रिंस ऑफ कोरबा अरे किसको बुला रहा है हमको आई वॉज बिल्कुल फ्राइटन पता नहीं तुमको बुला रहा है तुमको कैसा मालूम हमको बुला रहा है वो बोलता है एक तो मदरा सी लड़की वहाँ बैठा है दो बच्चे के साथ एक दोस्त के साथ उसको बुला क्या हो करके बोला ठीक है देन इज लुक हाउ यू आर लकी इज कॉलिंग यू दी वेंट इज गुफा गुफा वॉज ओनली दिस मच आई सेट हियर ओनली दिस मच टोटल द डोर आई वेंट इज आओ मेरा बेटी तुम्हारा इंतजाम है मेरा जीवन बीत गया आ जाओ आओ बेटा आओ आई लुक डट हिम बैठो आई सैट इन स्मॉल स्पेस मी एंड मिस्टर मूर्ति थड़प रहा था तुमको मिलने के लिए कैसा मेरा जीवन बीत गया ये गे नहीं टोल्ड आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड लुक डट मी इस पूछो क्या चाहिए तुम्हारा इंतजाम है यहाँ बैठा हूँ पूछो क्या चाहिए ये दुनिया में कोई चीज नहीं जो हम नहीं दे सकता आई जस्ट गिफ्ट क्वाइट एंड नो वॉट टू आस्क पूछो किस दो करोड़ चाहिए देर आई वॉज इंटेलिजेंट एंड आस्ट फॉर मनी आई गुड नॉट मेन लाइक दिस आई सेड मेरा पति तो बहुत अच्छा नौकरी करता है जो मेरा घर में आता है उसको सब अच्छा देखभाल करती हूँ तो इसे क्या चाहिए हम आपको कैसा बुलाना वो भी हमको मालूम नहीं हम आपको कैसा पुकारना है जैसे भी बुलाओ तुम मेरा ही है तुम अपना है बेटी तुम अपना है तुम जैसी भी बुलाओ 
तुम्हारा इंतजाम में मेरा जीवन बीत गया बेटी मेरा जीवन बीत गया जैसे भी बुलाओ ही से हम लोग महाराज बुला रहे हैं ए चुप रख तुम कैसी भी बुलाओ वह नहीं आपको महाराज बुलाएगा ठीक है देन ही सेट थर्ड टाइम ही सेट पूछो देन ही सेट दोनों हाथ से देने को तैयार है लेती नहीं है talking in a very different language very different it was not hindi it was not bhojpuri it was not anything some language after some time he looked at me oh he put his head on my head hum ek to varadan dega tum kya varadan he said tumko sharir mein bahut bari dukh aane wala hai i looked i didn't ask him what dukh he said tumko koi nahi madad kar sakta hai koi nahi karega हम अभी बोल दिया ये प्रभु परमेश्वर को उसके साथ इतना देर बात करता था ना उन्हीं के साथ बात बात करता था वो प्रभु परमेश्वर आके तुमको टिक करेगा उसको करना पड़ेगा हम बोल दिया वो तो करेगा कर मत करो सेट जब वो तुम्हारा सामने आएगा मुझे क्या करोगी हम जरूर करूंगी द टाइम ऑल्सो डूट टास्क क्या क्या दुख आने वाला है द नी सेट तुम्हारा पति को प्रमोशन को ऊपर प्रमोशन मिलेगा बहुत अच्छा रहेगी जिंदगी में बहुत अच्छा रही बारी यही तकलीफ शरीर का वो प्रभु तुमको ठीक करेगा तुम किसी से हाथ नहीं फैलाएगी तुम बहुत अच्छा रहेगी तुम देगी तुम नहीं लेगी देन ये अच्छा बेटी बहुत अंधरा हो रहा है बहुत दूर जाना है ना ठीक जाओ देनी गॉट अप एगेन ब्लेस्ट में ये मेरा मन अभी फैल गया तुमको मिल तुमको देख लिया हम बहुत खुश हुआ बेटी हमने बहुत खुश हुआ ओके ये डिन टॉक टू मट ऑफ देन दैट टाइम आई था मिस्टर मूर्ति इतना बड़े लोगों को देखने को काली हाथ आ गया कुछ तो लाना ही बोलते हैं ना ही हैड टेन रुपीस ही गेव मी फाइव रुपीज इज गिव मी क्रोर्स बट फुलिशनेस नो फाइव रुपीज ही देन इसे इसे क्या मतलब है उसको हनुमान जी का उंडील में डालो देन इसे वो राय साहब बनवारी को तुम जानती हो देर वॉज वन सेठ बनवारी लाल हाँ जानती हूँ एक्शन के लिए आया था हाँ वो क्या था इतना छोटा लड़का ये कम स्तंभा के ऊपर कड़ा घर कर करता था कुछ भी नहीं जानता था वो मैं मुझे बहुत प्यार करता था हमने बोला देखो बनवारी तुम राव साहब बन जाएगा बहुत अमीर बन जाएगा देखा वो छत्तीसगढ़ में बहुत अमीर आदमी अभी है कि नहीं बना हाँ वो हम उसको वरदान दिया था देन एक देन ही गेव सम सिंदूर छना खाला छना विद सॉल्ट दैट इज द प्रसाद इवन नो दे आर गेविंग ही गेविंग ही केम आउट देन ए सॉ ही इज बियर्ड वॉज रोनी हिज हंच बैक डिड लाइक दैट टाटा स्वामी ऑल्सो डिड दिस टू मी टिल आई वेंट थ्रू आई लुक बैक ही स्माइल एंड डिड लाइक दैट then he said then he went to the temple then he went and closed the door then that fellow came itna bewakoof aurat bole kya baat hai tumko kitna dena chahta tha apna powers tumko dena chahta tha tum nahi nahi bol diya hai bewakoof hum unke paas 30 saal se hai humko ek din kuch bhi nahi diya hai pehla tumko bola ke pucha tum to bola kuch nahi chahiye aisa bewakoof aurat ko hum kabhi nahi zindagi mein dekha log aate hain puchte hain sab de deta hai कम से कम तो पैसा तो पूछती थी वो भी क्यों नहीं बोली इतना बड़ी बेवकूफ औरत को हम जिंदगी में पहला बार देखा है इंटेलिजेंट बट आई है बैंकर यू माइंड इज ऑलवेज ऑन मनी you know but uh, they think that uh, i am uncomfortable in my life this this is enough this is enough for me i am very much contented he is a very senior man people respect respect me as a senior man's wife i have children to take care in the school i am a secretary i am a bird i i used to speak russian 
So whoever comes from the embassy, they talk to me. I'm very much honored. What more you want? And yes, bless me that I'll be like this. Is enough? Ah, uh, two crore. You refused, but he didn't even ask me anything. He didn't even talk to me. <laughs> okay, then we came away. Then immediately, as soon as I entered the house, his confidential secretary was standing. He said, "Congratulations, madam. What happened? He has become a director. Out of the way, is it? Then yes, there are three people above him. He has been appointed as a director of Core India." He said, "Look." Okay, that's all. That went after five, six years. It went on and on, and then uh, my backbone's problem started. L four, L five. It uh, deteriorated like anything. The large two vertebras were smashed, and I couldn't sit. I couldn't get up. Always great pain. Always pain. The doctors giving me a lot of antibiotics. I couldn't hear properly. I couldn't speak properly. I was in really. I had a hell in my life. Then later on, uh, the, we went to one uh, yes American orthopedic surgeon in, in Champa. We went to meet him. The moment he saw me, he said, "There is not one uh, problem in your vertebra too. Your vertebra has turned to right side. It's called scoliosis." Hmm. Then I took the doctor with him. I said, "What medicine you gave me? I do not know." He explained to him. He saw the prison. He tore it up. He said, "How did he give her this? Her bone marrow is nothing. You have virtually killed her." He shouted at him. Then he said, "No X-rays needed. The way you walk, I can make out. I am number one in America, missionary doctor." Then he said, "Surgery is inevitable." Then, then. Surgery will not be successful. Then what will happen? You will be in bedridden till you live. Is it? Yes. I will lead a good life. I don't want to live like an invalid person in my life. I don't want to live. I will commit suicide. That's all I told him. He says, "Suppose there is no surgery." He said, "No. In sympathy, all the uh, discs will disintegrate." Then you have only that vertebra column only will be there. Again, you will be useless. That's what he told me. I was really devastated. I decided I'll commit suicide. That's all. No other go. I'll come. My husband asked me, "Why are you so morose?" I said, "What's the use of my living? I don't want to live like that." He said, "No, no, don't worry. I'll talk to the chairman. There are good doctors in the world. Not that that you won't be treated." And your father has treated everybody very free. His blessings will be there. Don't worry. Anyway, I decided I will commit suicide. But how to commit suicide? <laughs> Another point. We came home. Then I was in the bed. There, you know, I can't get up and open the door. So six types of keys: one with my husband, one with the two girls, three with the servants. Everybody they have to open the door and come. I can't get up from my bed to open it. And then both in Hindi, my carvot to badal ta. I couldn't do it. My husband had to turn me. And in the night, one position, I used to keep three pillows on the dining table and rest myself so there is a gap. The pain won't be there. The morning, my two feet used to be swollen. <laughs> really, I lived in hell. And then. At about three o'clock, the children. My younger daughter was hardly four or five years. Uh, the, my cook will feed her and send her to my neighbor. Even my own Mr. Ja, Mr. Ja, in their house, she will be playing with the children. My elder daughter was doing at a senior Cambridge. She used to come from school. They will come and do their work at about three o'clock. How to commit suicide? You believe this? Shirdi Baba came and sat by my side in my cot. I looked at him. He said, "Baba, Ningla in Tamil. Is it you?" He said, "Yes." I started crying. He said, "You don't cry. You should not cry. If you cry, I am unable to bear it. You should never cry." I cried. He wiped my tears, and then took my palm, drew one line. He said, "I will change your destiny. Don't worry. I will take care of you in my present body." 
who will say that? Tell me. This happened in my life. Then he wiped my tears, put his hand from head to foot, just rubbed it. He said, I will take care of you in my present body. Don't worry. He vanished. That feeling was here, drawing the line and putting my hand in this. What is this? How, how is it possible? My childhood bhakti, now I don't even have his photograph, has come in front of me. Then I thought I should not tell anybody because they will think I have become mad in the bed, bedridden per, uh, person. I kept quiet. But after some time, I tried, I got up on my own, which I never did for seven years. But rule is you have to, I can't sit. So shall I go? Yo, yo, no, no. He has mentioned your name, don't go. Swami has called you. In the meanwhile, Swami came in the veranda, put on the light. He came to the balcony, he said, don't worry, I am always with you. I will, I will talk to you tomorrow. 